get you like I do. Three, two, <laughs> that one, look was not, go. not agreeable. All right, let's go into game one here. Uh, beat the yeah, you know, Luigi's gonna be very dominant on 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 the ground while uh, Jigglypuff is, of course, gonna be standing there. Wow. Crunch cancel, jab, and uh, rest okay. for it. Maybe not that that percentage was that a like an appropriate punish, but I just wanted to get percent on. You know? It's percent. It's knockback. It's. I, like... dis I dis disagree with that up throw from uh, I was about to say ally from a hungry box because that sent like that barely works on like fastballers, let alone someone like Luigi. Right. And low percent, I don't know if he has like a very a set option that he wants to use. Like I don't know if he's gonna get a follow up, but like that's gonna like nothing's gonna come from that uh, up throw. That's fair. Ooh. Maybe he's banking on the floatiness of Luigi having the trouble with that. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, you X Y K. No. X Y K. Okay. They didn't take any damage for it, but... They both kind of laugh about it. Oh, no! XRK is a mess. Yeah. When you go for the goof and you end up getting got... Get got, get got. Anyway. If you continue that up air burst that seemed like a pretty solid rush yeah. punish. I mean, it would have gotten probably around 40%, mm -hmm. it's like. Better than just like a single shoryuken. Right. <laughs> Great ledge pressure here from uh, Rebox. Yeah. And the scary thing about playing against Hbox, especially if you haven't played like a whole lot of Peach or uh, Puffs or Hbox in general, is like he's just been seeming to be able to convert rest out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and it's very scary because like outside of back air, you know how much knockback that has. But he goes in with like nair or down air. Like does that convert to a rest? Like I have to be super careful about that mm -hmm. as the opposing player. Yeah, he's not afraid to go for that crouch cancel and just down beat man. Right. That was a good little patience from Hungry Box, just like trying to avoid X Y K's um, back air off ledge. It looked like it was supposed to be uh, Dacus. either Dacus or I think Dacus makes more sense. Let's say uh, pivot forward smash. Mm -hmm. Oh, a couple times now we see X Y K kind of messing up these ledge dashes. Yep. Maybe getting a little bit nervous. <laughs> Good back here. Okay, XYK actually had like pretty solid like like DI from his opponent on that down throw, but just Jigglypuff is so floaty you couldn't really get a follow-up. Right. That's scary. Ooh. I agree with that down B decision, because if you went for a side B, like hungry box is right there near side. He wasn't gonna get what he needed to get. A lot of people might kind of struggle with uh, Luigi's um, recovery just to like hit the mix-up potential of it, but I, uh, like Jigglypuff seems like a character that seems totally comfortable trying to snuff that out. Very much so. I really love uh, seeing XYK's movement and really utilizing that platform anytime it comes around. Mm -hmm. It just takes that momentum. XYK really fishing for those uh, up smashes that's definitely going to kill Jigglypuff off the top. A very strong uh, upward kill move from uh, Luigi. The up smash? Yeah. yeah. And he doesn't have a down B. Uh, oh, he doesn't have a double jump. Hungrybox going for a little bit of style, but uh, XYK, even though he managed to get the stage tech, all of his resources were pretty much burned minus up B, so he couldn't right. really get back. Right. Man. Sets on Jail has been really great today. Yeah. Dude, so many upsets. It's been a yeah. sweet tournament, man. Yeah, dude. Junebug out at like really early. Rocky and LZ. Oh, yeah. yeah. Zig versus Hyperflame. Yep. Hey, okay, so. I got it out round three. Hyperflame and DLA Cloud play a loser round four. So June and Hyperflame play losers round five. June got seventh. Seventeenth, excuse me. Yeah, as I say. Yeah. Probably around seventeenth. DLA uh, beat Druffin in winners. I don't know how Druffin's doing in losers now, but that, that was a thing. Uh, that's 
pretty understandable. You think so? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I think DL is as good of a player as Jeffin, and PM at least. Like he still has the understanding of the game, and Jeffin doesn't know Diddy Kong. Yeah, I was just, but Jeff, I was just gonna say Jeffin kind of has a better um, notoriety, but you, you're not wrong with that uh, more uh, skin deep analysis. Oh, these wall pains. Okay. Let's just uh, down smash. So I feel like Luigi has a lot of a vertical uh, KO potential, mm -hmm. but like the only one that he can really get is up smash. But, yeah, like wave dashing down up smash. Right, and even then, Puff stays so airborne and above him the entire time. Um, I assume up smash is like it just seems very hard to get. No sweet spot. Yikes. Yeah. He just like serve himself on a platter basically for that forward smash. Up smash out of shield does not quite KO yet. I imagine the next one would. I guess we were kind of seeing Hungry Box throw up throwing because uh, Luigi's floatiness in the air just kind of sets him up for you know possibly getting some hits in with Julia Puff's aerial superiority. Right. I'm curious to see if that's a dis decent strategy against someone like uh, Jigglypuff, like just fireball camping. I know Jigglypuff can uh, cancel that out with like Nair and Fair, but like, you know, that's free damage, you know, if, they, if I the think timing gets messed up. The idea is definitely not for it to hit fireball, but to make the Jigglypuff come in and set up for a situation where he can get the up smash. <laughs> Yeah, we're seeing um, XYK when he DIs uh, up from to, from that wall of pain. Uh, Hungry Box is just fine getting that up air damage and then just right. going back to stage. Ooh. That's large. All right. Good uh, uh, Ledge dash up smash. Yeah. Covers the ledge pretty well. And it's invulnerable if it's done properly. That'll take All it right. though. We see Hungry Box up one game and up a stock here on game two. So, Xbox is kind of fishing XYK on that platform. Oh, XYK. Again, the, uh, XYK gets the favorable DI, but just not the right, not for the right character, you know. That, that misfire was just reaching up right. very much. Yeah, I don't know how many times he's played against a good team mm -hmm. I think. I mean, not Gopec, many people have. Yeah, right. Especially someone of uh, this caliber. Mm -hmm. I love that. That little the Luigi fireball. Tech. Yeah, yeah. rebounds it off. That's really cool. Okay. Hungry Box looking for a grab. You know, great awareness to uh, just angle his shield out. Make sure he doesn't get shield poked. Yep. <laughs> Notice he didn't go for it. He thought it, you could see he paused like should I taunt? No, I'm not he's gonna like, taunt. I got I got Bob last time. Yeah, he was thinking about it, he's like, nah. Okay. Can you just restart this just back on the stage? Oh, wow, he actually uh, downbeat away. Yeah, so I mean, avoid the avoid hunger box. That right. was interesting. Okay. Okay, 27 percent. Yep. Yep. I really view like playing Jigglypuff as okay. Like, I need a chip until I can get that percent mm -hmm. where my vertical KOs are killing. Very similar to like how those like you hear uh, melee commentators talk about like the like 67 percent or whatever that Fox mm -hmm. needs to KO pub. So they're just kind of moving around each other. Um, it's very interesting that Julie Puff is controlling center stage. XYK is just like scooting around him with all the crazy moving up. Okay, yeah. Great down air. I was going to say that patient, this patient play is benefiting uh, Hungry Box because he's just going to get these little tick, ticks and tacks of like these aerials, but uh, just like that, XYK takes that stock with a down, down air. Alright, good fireball to cover in the ledge. I'll yep. finish out of shield gets it though. Hungry Box takes it over uh, XYK. Two up. Do you mean 